Buffalo Bills fifth round draft pick Matt Milano is a player that Bills fans will immediately fall in love with. Just turn on some of his highlights and you'll see why. His highlight reel is full of big hits, hustle, and plays on the ball. Just an all-around playlist of emotion and tenacity. He's what Sean McDermott looks for in his linebackers, another former safety who settled in at linebacker his sophomore year. His defensive back-like traits paired with a linebacker mentality led to a productive college career. In 36 games at Boston College, he recorded 140 tackles, including 32 and a half for a loss, 14 sacks, one interception, and six pass deflections. In Boston College's defense, he primarily lined up to the strength as a Sam linebacker, a defense that played a lot of 4-3 overlooks that kept him clean and free to make plays. One of Milano's strengths is against outside runs. His natural athleticism allows him to stay over the top of blocks. He exhibits the ability to scrape, shed blocks, and make the tackle on the perimeter, which will be one of his biggest assets to the Bills linebacker core. He is your prototype chase and pursue linebacker, the type that Buffalo sorely needed. Look how quickly he recognizes the sweep, leverages the ball, takes a perfect angle to the back and cuts the legs out from underneath him. Against the run in 2016, Milano recorded 32 solo tackles, 24 run stops, and only missed two tackles. Versus the pass, he was often matched up against tight ends, which is another skill that will be important in the Bills' new defensive scheme. He is very good at using his hands to disrupt, funnel, and stay with the big pass catchers. Whether it was man or zone coverage, against Clemson, he was matched up against Jordan Leggett. On this play, the Eagles are in their base defense, and they align Milano inside to Leggett's side. Clemson runs play action, and Milano finds Leggett crossing over the middle, takes him away as an option, and makes the tackle on Watson. The Eagles staff maximizes his unique athleticism. On this play, they align him at defensive end in a two-point stance. Post-snap, drop him to the flats as his own blitz is brought from the boundary. That kind of range and versatility becomes very valuable when trying to disguise blitzes and coverages. Like this play, the defense shows cover two pre-snap, but runs a trap coverage with the field cornerback attempting to undercut any type of in-breaking route. Instead, Duke runs her slot receiver to the post. Milano then has to open his hips and get into the hip pocket. He continues to use his hands to stay in phase and gets his head turned around, making the catch that much more difficult. A very special play by the Florida native. Seeing Milano matched up with wide receivers wasn't uncommon. That's the kind of skill set he brings. The Syracuse quarterback is trying to target the wheel route down the sideline, but Milano has the receiver blanketed and it leads to a sack. He has experience running similar coverages to what the Bills are going to run under McDermott. On this play, the defense calls cover three match. It's a zone principle that based on the routes of the receivers can turn to man, and that is exactly what happens. Milano is shaded outside the receiver on a tilt. As the receiver gets vertical, that receiver becomes Milano's responsibility. He reroutes the receiver inside towards help, takes a peek at the QB, which could have cost him, but recovers well by flipping his hips to the sideline, allowing him to gain depth to stay underneath the corner route. The ball is underthrown and it allows Milano to make a play. Much like how McDermott used Shaq Thompson Carolina, Milano's versatility afforded the Eagles to stay in base defense versus passing sets. McDermott called this package Buffalo Nickel. It's tough to run out of these sets because it's nearly impossible for a receiver to block Milano. He processes runs so quickly. On this play, he takes his read steps while reading the tackle and running back's actions, splits the blocks, leverages the ball outside in, and makes the tackle. I mean, he really is the hybrid linebacker safety that you want in today's NFL. A guy that can play the force defender role with the physicality of a linebacker, but who can cover like a defensive back. Onto a few things I know the scouting staff and coaches fell in love with. Milano exhibits traits that coaches love. He hustles on every play, has an extremely high level of competitive toughness, and has very good play speed. On this play, he is a secondary force player. The offense runs a reverse, attempting to have Milano get picked off by the safety. But he avoids the traffic, hits top gear, and doesn't quit until he lays a lick on the ball carrier. You see these plays by Milano week in and week out, because he fits into the category of just being a football player. He gives 110% every play, all the way to the whistle. I absolutely love his competitive toughness. He has a nasty streak to his game. He's the type of player that hates losing more than winning, and those are the kind of players that you want on your team. Now on to his play speed and mental processing. Syracuse runs orbit motion to the boundary to run triple option. Triple option is defended well by having disciplined players execute their assignments. The assignments change due to motion. The boundary force player has a pitch man, the defensive end should have the running back, the inside linebacker should have the QB, and Milano is responsible for the tight end just in case there is a shovel pass. Milano reads it beautifully, comes off the blocking tight end to put the QB down. Being a fifth round pick, you know there are areas to his game that he needs to improve on. He showed a tendency to give running backs the edge when the offense utilized crackback type blocks on him. The blocks weren't devastating, but on these misdirection type runs, the movements by the back and the offensive line caused him to hesitate, giving up the edge to Delvin Cook. 
Another reason why he fell to the fifth round is that he is undersized for a linebacker. He stands at 6 foot, 223 pounds, is super lean, especially in his lower half. He will struggle to anchor at the point of attack day one of 2017. His ability to anchor and disengage needs work. Too often, if aligned at the point of attack as an end man on the line of scrimmage, he struggles to disengage and make a play on the ball. Finally, his tackling technique. It needs refinement. At times, his feet stall and he dips his head upon approach rather than keeping his feet moving, seeing the target, and executing a form tackle. But to his credit, he only missed five tackles all of 2016. And even when he did miss a tackle, he picked himself up and got right back into the play. There is that competitive toughness I rave about. As an outside linebacker in a 4-3 defense, you must exhibit the ability to rush the passer. That's a role Milano can carry out. In 2016, Milano rushed the passer 22.4% of the time, registered 6 sacks, and 18 total pressures. His total pressures ranked him 9th overall amongst all outside linebackers. On this play, he does a great job of timing the blitz and driving through the back to create an interception. If schemed and timed properly, the speed and tenacity exhibited by Milano can create issues along the offensive line, especially on fire zone blitzes. On this play, Milano shows late and it creates issues for the left tackle. The left tackle kick slides to pick up the end and realizes that the immediate threat, Milano, is shooting the gap inside straight to the QB. Milano is too quick and brings down Deshaun Watson. When he is on the line of scrimmage to the field, he has a tough read because he drops into coverage so frequently. Tackles blow their assignment and the next thing you know the QB is on his back. So where does Matt Milano fit into the Bills plans in 2017? Let's start with special teams. He has a mentality and physical abilities to quite possibly become one of the best special teamers on the Bills. He had three blocked punts and 24 special teams coverage tackles over the course of his career. The hard work on special teams and coaching to improve his technique could lead to snaps in certain sub packages. Maybe not early, but mid to late season. His physicality and overall athletic ability are rock solid and it will be difficult to keep a talented guy like him off the field. He has a future in the role played by Shaq Thompson in McDermott's defense in Carolina. A guy that has the range and athleticism to show blitz, but then drop into coverage and make a play on the ball. Gotta love those former safeties. He also projects into that role really well because of his ability to match the physicality and athletic skills in coverage versus tight ends. He displays the skills necessary to disrupt and funnel their routes to the post safety. Many fans worry that he doesn't have the ability to play Sam linebacker because of his inconsistency at stacking, anchoring, and shedding. But we forget that the Sam and Will linebacker positions are interchangeable. Coaches can scheme ways to have him run to the strength on one play or to the pass strength on another. In short, there are ways to minimize his weaknesses. Like this 4-3 over front, a staple in McDermott and Frazier's defenses. There is no doubt if he's kept clean, he can be very disruptive behind the line of scrimmage. That's part of the reason he finished his career with 32.5 tackles for loss. For what he lacks at the point of attack versus the run, he more than makes up for versus outside runs, and more importantly in the passing game. He has tremendous range, the skills to drop deep and get into a good trail technique versus tight ends and receivers. The ability to stay disciplined in his assignment, drop threats that are leaving his zone, continue to keep his eyes on the QB and make a play on the ball. The NFL is a passing league, everyone knows that. Matt Milano is the breed of defender that coordinators are looking for to use as a chess piece to defend the various athletes and concepts that offensive coordinators are now using week in and week out. Fifth round draft pick Matt Milano may be a special teams and sub package player in 2017, but it's in my opinion that the staff sees him as a future starter. Only time will tell.